welcome to SQL Server. Today we are going to see some practical assignments of SQL Server. First is create database and using DBCC shrink option with database. Second would be creating table, altering table and inserting data in the table. Third, selecting records using certain built-in functions which are available in SQL Server. Fourth, using constraints in the tables. Fifth, creating indexes. And sixth, using group by and compute functions. So let us proceed with the first assignment which is create database and using db shrink option. Okay, so we come to the first assignment which is creating database. Now we'll go to new query in SQL Server Management Studio. We'll type here the syntax as create see database. We'll give the name of database as batch SQL Server. We'll select it, press F5 key. It will take some time to execute since it will create the MDF and LDF files. Now here we have not given any file location, file names which we want to be created. Now if we check into C drive, program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL 10 underscore 50 SQL Server, MS SQL data. If you see we get the same file name created as the name of the database. This is our primary data file and this is our LDF file which is the log file. Now if we have to give some different name to the file instead of the database name then we'll have to give the whole syntax of create database with the name of the file where the file has to be stored the size max size everything all the details of the file in the create database statement so now what we'll do is we'll say drop database batch underscore sql server as we have created we have deleted the database also and now what we'll do is we'll say create database batch underscore sql server on we'll open the bracket we'll give the name as batch details comma file name equals C colon so C colon we write down program files program space files slash Microsoft SQL server then MS SQL 10 underscore 50 dot ms sql server slash ms sql slash data slash will give the file name as batch dot mdf okay here one command end after the file name we'll give size is equal to 10 we give max size equals 50 and file growth equals 5 here we'll close the bracket this is our MDF file path now next we'll say log on and we give the log file details as name equals say batch underscore log then we give file name equals c colon slash program files slash microsoft sql server slash ms sql 10 underscore 50 dot ms sql server slash 
MSSQL slash data slash we give the name as batch log dot ldf okay after that comma we give size equals 5 we give max size equals 25 and we give file growth equals 5 close the bracket okay so now we will select this create database command and press f5 key it will create the files but now the name would be what we have given so now if you look into the same folder as we had gone earlier now we have the primary data file name as batch the one which we gave it as batch.mdf and then the ldf file name is batchlog.ldf so if you want the file names or the size max size parameters which will come as a default parameters we can directly execute as create database and the database name but if we want to modify the default values which come from sql server then we'll have to write down the whole command wherein we'll give the create database command with the mdf file path size max size file growth log file path size max size and file growth command now suppose we want to add one more file after we have created the database when we create database we get primary data file and we get the log file right now if we want another file to be created after creating database let us see how to do it okay so we'll write down now alter database the database name that we have created is batch underscore sql server the same database we want to modify we will say add file we have to give the name of the file say batch1 the actual file name which would be created would be c colon slash program files slash Microsoft SQL Server slash MS SQL 10 underscore 50 dot MS SQL Server slash MS SQL slash data slash now here we give the name as batch1 dot ndf ndf is the secondary file the primary data file is batch dot mdf any other file if you want to create that will be dot ndf as the extension now after this we give the size parameter which is 6 okay now with this command we will alter the database executed it has altered it now let us see if it created one more file yes and the file is now secondary data file the batch file which we created is a primary file log file is a transaction log file and batch 1 is our database secondary data file now if you have to remove a file after database is being created then the command for the same would be we'll have to again say alter database database name is batch underscore sql server will say remove file say file name is batch1 okay now we'll execute it file batch1 has been removed okay so now if you have to check you will not have the batch1 file which we created as the secondary data file it is being removed from the database now let us see using dbcc shrink object what is it okay and how does it work the command for dbcc shrink database is we have to write down dbcc space shrink database and the database name that we have to give is batch underscore sql server okay now dbcc shrink database and the database name as sql server okay now it gives the file id one of database was key because the file does not have the enough space to reclaim okay now since there was 
it execution completed but since we have not having any data into our database it is not able to shrink it okay otherwise it will shrink it and make it in a lower size now suppose you have to use the database sql server now currently if you see available databases we have the database as batch underscore sql server one way is we select it directly from here okay or the other command to which we can write it we can say use and the database name patch underscore sql server select it now here it is showing you what master right now when we execute it it changes to batch underscore sql server so either directly go here click and select the database or write down the use command and make the database available now we'll move on with the second one 